Hi friends. Well, my plants have been growing here, so I'm going to start part two of my planting adventure here. They're starting to get pretty big and crowded here in this tray. All the tomatoes up front here, and I've got petunias buried in the middle, and my moonflowers on the end. So what I want to do today is transplant them. So hang on while I spin around here. Don't get too dizzy. Got to go around, 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 around over here. Oh, did you guys? I bet you'd be surprised to see that this thing's still hooked up. I don't know how I can prove it. Oh, maybe you could hear that. See, it actually works, but it's kind of a the kids get a kick out of the dial on it. But okay, back to my transplanting here. It's important to have all the right tools before you get started, of course. Like, uh, just in case you get some stubborn ones that won't fit in the pot, you need a good hammer. And some of the other ones that are too big, I get the old chainsaw out there and shorten them up a little bit. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm going to put them in this planter tray here. That's my plan. I reused that from last year. I cleaned it all up, and so it should work pretty good. So I've got my water with a little plant food in it ready to go. And my tools ready, so... Hang on while I move everything over here. Well, I'm back again. Got things a little more sorted out here now. And it's always nice to have a little music playing in the background while you're working too. <laughs> I just, that's my box I used at Halloween. I just thought that'd be kind of funny. Anyway, you can see they're, they're not too badly root bound yet for being five little tomato plants here. So I'm gonna carefully separate them and uh, it's, the roots will get damaged somewhat but they grow back really fast so hang on while I do that well you can see once I get them separated there's still quite a bit of root left with each tomato tomatoes are really hardy though so you can take they, they can grow with a lot of the roots taken off because they'll sprout new roots all the way up the top of their stem so I usually set them down in kind of deep and then put the new dirt or soil and dirt around them and that way new roots can sprout out of the stem here. And I use this dirt that I buy at the store. It's made just for starting plants. I've got a big bag of it here that I use. And then I get them started in that. It's got good drainage and keeps going real good. And this is a fertilizer I use. It's like a general purpose fertilizer. That works pretty nice to feed them then. <laughs> I don't know if my music's such a good idea. That's kind of, well, good for Halloween maybe, huh? <laughs> you know, I've been working away here. And did you guys ever get the feeling that when you're working that you're being watched? And I look up here and all these monkeys came back inside here again. <laughs> Never seemed to have a real problem with monkeys around here. <laughs> well, <laughs> I want to get back to working here. Well, then once I get them all planted, I kind of move right along here. You don't want to let the roots dry out too long. It's kind of like taking a fish out of water. They don't live very long once the roots dry out. So then I just carefully water them after I've gently packed the soil down around the roots. And then I'll let the water settle the soil back in the rest of the way. Then I'll just top it off with a little bit just to make sure they're full. But... I'm gonna keep moving along here. I'm enjoying my music too. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> hang on. Bear's, Bear's not sure what to do about that music, are you, huh? That's some strange music going. Well, I'm getting there. I got one batch planted here. Some of these are pretty healthy plants already. They should be doing real good. Well, hang on while I do more. I think I'm going to have to turn my music off there. I don't like that. <laughs> well, I've been planting away here. I'm working on the moonflowers now. These are doing really well. I mean, you can see on here, they start building quite a root structure up. This one was by itself, so it was doing real good. But it's always good to transplant them and get some new dirt in them. Then it encourages the roots to grow. But this guy I'm not going to disturb too much. But... They do real well as long as they, once they get into one little spot like this, 
and then in a few more weeks I'm going to get out my cups and my big plant holders and I'll transplant them into those and then they'll get all these plants are going to get really big so I've got quite a few to go here yet so I'm going to keep busy for a while well I'm making good progress here I've got all the moonflowers planted in there I started with 27 seeds a month ago and now I've got 17 plants that grew so that's pretty good for moonflowers they're kind of hard to sprout with their hard shells but the tomatoes are doing real well here and with this kind of planter it's kind of nice it kind of lets the roots breathe a little bit and then you know, just make sure you don't overwater them because you don't want to drown them um, so you just got to kind of keep an eye on things so they're doing good and if you notice I planted the taller ones in the center and then that gives these little guys on the outside edge a chance to get sun and in a few weeks they'll all catch up and all be about the same size uh, the only reason I'm putting them in these trays right now is because it's still cold outside they're big enough right now to go in pots or cups but then it'd be too hard for me to carry them all in and out and this way if I keep them in the tray for two more weeks they, I can use my grow light and keep the keep them growing real strong so then in a couple weeks I'll put them in the cups it's a little more work this way but they take the transplant real nice the next time because they have their own little root pod then so I'm gonna finish this up here doing pretty good so far and bear he's supervising here <laughs> you say hi bear yeah, he's resting his head here <laughs> he don't know what to think here well I'm gonna get back to work again well bear says our mission has been successful today don't you bear <laughs> you're bored he wants to go back outside but we have work to do right bear yeah well we did pretty good today I got everything in here and they're looking pretty good they're, they're just figuring to rip them out by the roots and everything they still standing up pretty nice so they'll be good in a day or two they're you know they'll just got to get some new roots going and they'll take right off this is a plant food I use it's like a blue powder I don't know how good we can see this here they recommend you put a scoop like this in a gallon of water and then water them every week or two or whatever you feel like it but what I do is I put just this small amount that's in this little scoop inside of this little water bucket and this is probably I don't know if it's a, not quite half a gallon so I make it kind of weak uh, normally I use a whole gallon but I'm just getting started here so I just dump this little powder in there and fill that with water and then then that they really take off and get nice and dark green when you feed them so well okay that's uh I've still got some more to do here but these guys are going to take me a little while. These flowers are kind of really growing together, but I'll thin them out and use this tray to do that. My morning glory here, I put a whole bunch of seeds in and only one sprouted. So, well, I guess I won't have too many of them this year. So, that's it for this part. My helpers were pretty good up there today. <laughs> well, I suppose I'll shut down here and get bear back outside and then we'll make another video when I do some more thanks for watching